I joined the Army at 17 to get the GI Bill for college. And at 17, I took my first airplane ride to Fort McClellan, Alabama. So that was quite an experience. And I wore pumps, spectator pumps and a beautiful dress. Now, I wish I had known that was the most inappropriate thing to wear to basic training. When I got off that bus and the, um, the drill sergeant started yelling at us, here I am trying to run around in pumps to pick up my gear to take it into the barracks. My name is Abby Davis. I'm a senior in high school and this summer I leave for basic training for the Air Force. I started by actually looking at the Coast Guard because I wanted to be closer to home and I thought it would be close. But um, I went on the Air Force website and I put in my information and like literally the next day my recruiter reached out to me. With him he was very open and honest and told me everything that would be happening. And then I think within five months I signed off to be leaving the, um, this year and to start my journey in the Air Force. I joined the Women's Army Corps. We were segregated by gender. It was the only place I could go. And it was in 1976 that we integrated the Army and actually all the services into um, mixed gender units. You can imagine that was quite an interesting journey to be the first woman in a unit and the only woman very often. The women in the military still make up only 8% of the Marines, 16% of the Army, and 19% of the Air Force. So we need more women. I hope that taking the oath for other women will show them that they can do whatever they desire to do and to follow your dreams. And just because it's mostly men doesn't really mean anything. Like since I was so young too, I think I took the oath at 17. A lot of people there like were over 18 and it was very intimidating because I was with a lot of older men that knew what they were doing. It just felt good like knowing that I did it as a 17 year old going through this process. And I hope like it inspires other people that you can do it and to not let other people take you down. I'm so grateful for everything my dad has done, how he supported me through the process. He's shown me that I can do it and to put my heart to it and to try my best and that what, like, what you put in will be your outcome. So as long as you try your hardest, then you will succeed. One thing I did understand and live by, even at the age of 17, is to always be prepared for the next opportunity. So you have to at least take the first step and you never know what's gonna come from that first step and what opportunities will present themselves. It's often said that the strength of our nation is the strength of our forces. So we can't do what we do to ensure our national security without our armed forces. So I'm so proud of those who take the oath to serve the nation, no matter what reason. Be proud of what you're doing. Take advantage of all that the military presents to you and know that all of us who have ever served are behind you and are available. We would be what you call your battle buddies and we're here to help.